Key details pointed out in the following video may be completely irrelevant. Not everything in this video will have significance to the actual game. This is awesome. Mission. These green graphics resemble the terminal screens from the classic games. Throughout the trailer, terminal text appears in various places. Most of them say the same thing, but there are two different screens. The text seems to be the initial stages of the cloning process. Here, some graphics briefly appear. Going top down, there is a code that says caution, AO1, BO1, and STU-12. These three strings appear throughout the trailer. On the right, there are two lines of small text that I can't make out. Here it says S7, which might refer to the S-series clones. And at the bottom it says Traxxas Global. It looks like Traxxas has access to surveillance cameras on the Tau City 4 colony, and they are stalking this runner. This runner is most likely affiliated with the UESC. Their pack has a countdown timer. Many believe this to be the oxygen system. On the left wall is a heap of metal with a red light. This reminds me of Hunters from the classic games. From what I've observed in this trailer, there are two different digital figures that appear. I assume at least one of them was one of the eight AIs in the Tau City 4 colony. I will call this digital figure Two Eyes. These worms have the Traxxas Global logo on them. Sekiguchi Genetics is the corporation that manufactures clones. As far as we know, they are the only company that has the technology to make clones. These worms are used to make those clones. We know from the ARG, which happened at the launch of this trailer from this QR code, that Sekiguchi is supplying Traxxas with secret P-series clones, and is wary that Traxxas might try to replicate their clone technology. Maybe they already have. These three strings from earlier are probably related to Bayamata or Sekiguchi. I theorize the codes refer to materials needed for building clones. Although in the ARG, the Oxyopulse B01 mining site had a shaft collapse, so this theory could be wrong. And this Oxyopulse mining site is where this material is harvested. It looks to me like this clone that's being built is crying. In the top right, it looks like that caution code from before. In bottom right there is red text. It's hard to read, but I think it says S Robotics. This might be another subgroup of Sekiguchi. This is the second digital figure. There is interesting imagery here. The figure is overlaid on the clone. Perhaps this AI is transferring a part of its consciousness into this body. If Traxxas has replicated Sekiguchi's clone tech, then perhaps this is the Traxxas 4 AI that went rampant and was supposedly destroyed. The figure also seems to have wings, which might show it is achieving a higher degree of freedom with a physical body outside a computer net. When the scene changes back to the UESC runner, the digital figure zooms in like it is watching. If this is Traxxas 4, that would make sense. We know that there will be friction between the UESC and Traxxas Global in Tau City. In the top left it says B6, this might be a zone or area in a map, later we see this on the outside of a building. And this graffiti here suggests that MIDA has also arrived on Tau City 4, along with the UESC and Traxxas. This is another terminal screen, and the second digital figure is screaming or roaring. On the Marathon story page on the 26th of June, there was a post with extended cuts from the Marathon trailer produced by Antibody. This moment looks like a cut from this scene. This extended version gives us some new information on this and other moments from the trailer. This here might look like a year, but this other image makes me think it is the software version of an AI from CyberAcme. Or maybe an AI is hacking into this terminal, which runs on this CyberAcme software. Here there are numerous tasks to run. This might mean literally running, or maybe it's running many cloning commands. These symbols are from the title and end screens. I would guess that these are CyberAcme symbols, as I don't see them anywhere else in the trailer. Then there is a grid of random letters and numbers with a string of code at the bottom. Something very similar is also on the title screen. VKTR and DTRM. I think both of these could be acronyms for anything, and we just don't know what they mean yet. 0A, E3.128, I don't know what those mean. There are other angles of this terminal screen, but in 3D. I think this could be how the terminal screens actually look in-game, or maybe they only look like this when they're being hacked. This is the UESC Marathon Colony ship. It doesn't look much like the Marathon from the classic games, but we know it is the Marathon thanks to the ARG. From the ARG we got access to UESC annotated videos of scenes from the trailer. 
The scheduled arrival of the Equanimity is for 2,894. So it looks like they sent recon satellites ahead to scout the colony in 2,893. I find it interesting that they note the structural integrity of the ship. Perhaps we will explore the marathon, and during a match, the map might fall apart. Or over a season, it progressively deteriorates and different areas become accessible. We can see there is no life or AI on the ship. No AI makes me frown a bit. To remove an AI from the ship, its core would need to be removed or destroyed. Maybe the four took all three AIs in their attack. The atmosphere is hazardous. A hazardous atmosphere implies there is toxic gas or something. I think it would be clear if there was no atmosphere. Inoperable gravity might mean the gravity varies in different areas, or maybe the G's throughout the ship oscillate. This is probably an irrelevant detail, but this 3 sticks out to me for some reason. There is nothing else that contextualizes this number, so I have no idea what it could mean. Notice the bits of loose moon rock. Maybe there will be meteorite showers as random in-game events during a match. Or as a seasonal thing, some kind of natural disaster could refresh the maps, blocking off old areas and revealing new ones. Here we get a full view of this body bag housing the clone we were watching get printed. This bag might be what is called a birth pod. This number here is the item number for the secret P-series clones from Sekiguchi to Traxxas. This leads me to believe that Traxxas hasn't yet replicated Sekiguchi's tech. On this next frame it says task 539 run, and in the next few frames the second digital figure appears over the clone, and we get a clear look at its head. It looks like it has three eye sockets, so I will call this one three eyes. The four, the aliens that attack the marathon, and the main antagonists for Marathon 1 and 2 have three eyes. The four never had an AI that could rival any of humanities, so it's a bit weird that this one looks similar to a four. If the four did take all three AI cores in their attack, then maybe they made their own AIs from them. My current theory is Jake's theory. The Traxxas 4 AI that went rampant on Mars in 2206 is still alive and has taken over the Traxxas Global Company, and it is now trying to insert a part of its consciousness into clones. More specifically, the secret P-series clones, which seem far more advanced than the other ones. A couple more interesting details. The first moment Task Run appears, the item number disappears. This might suggest that Traxxas 4 is stealing the P-series clones from the intended operators. Perhaps the three runners from later in the trailer aren't actually the White Rabbit, Brill, and Patch, but three sub-mines of Traxxas 4. I'd like to mention some lore from Destiny. In Destiny, there is an AI called a Warmind named Rasputin. This Warmind had submines scattered throughout the Sol system, and also had robotic drones. I think, I'm recalling from memory. I'm planning to make a video covering lore from Destiny that overlaps with Marathon, so please let me know if you're interested in that. These images from Antibody show a possible third digital figure or AI. This one has three, four, heads, and horns. I will call this one Heads. This Hydra-style head-splitting might be Traxxas 4 creating a fourth consciousness to operate the clones, but I don't think that this is Traxxas 4. Heads only has two eyes, which is more similar to two eyes, but I don't think it is two eyes either. <laughs> this is getting confusing, isn't it? Two eyes and heads have different eye shapes and nose shapes, so I think that this is a separate third AI. I will mention that from the ARG, Midas Zine mentions a goat and Traxxas, and goats have horns, so there might be some link there. This is a terminal. The terminals from the classic games were the main source of mission objective and story in the classic games. I'm sure the new game will also have this, but I think they might have other functions as well. In GTFO, terminals can be used to gather information about resources and objective items. You can query the location of items, and you can ping them once you're close enough. Pinging an item makes them play a sound and show up on the HUD. From the vid doc, there was a concept for a hacker class, so maybe terminals can be used for similar functions like in GTFO, as well as access secret areas and logs. This looks like an ID card for the White Rabbit. This could be something similar to Tarkov's dog tags. Or maybe we can find ID cards of in-game characters who were at the colony and use them to access restricted areas. This is a SFIC compiler. The UESC don't seem to know what the compilers are, which is interesting. In the first game, Leela, one of the Marathon AIs, sent a message to Earth with all the information she had on the 4. 
At this point in the game, we had encountered this fit. So either the message wasn't received or it didn't reach, or this is a different timeline where the message was never sent. Also, the UESC has access to security cameras in the colony. Three eyes are screaming again. It's interesting this imagery appears right after we see the compiler. The compilers are mostly mechanical and are known for hacking and attacking AI with viruses. Are this fit compilers attacking three eyes? Perhaps they have been infecting the eight colony AIs with viruses for the past hundred years. The clone has birthed from the pod and is getting some Trax's lipstick. On the wall over here, it looks like the caution code again. Also, there was more graffiti from Mida. It says, Drum Simulation Unite. When the ARG was happening, people thought this code gave coordinates to a cornfield in Iowa. Bungie clarified that it was meant to be an anagram for Audi Nostrum Silentium and not coordinates to a random farm. Audi Nostrum Silentium translates to Hear Our Silence, which was Mida's website. This pink terminal screen looks like a crop of this from the antibody extended cuts. Two eyes again. It's hard to make out, but on the side of this building, it says Bay 6. The pouch on the runner's leg might have a date. The trailer was released on the 25th of May in 2023. This date is for the 27th of April. The next 27th of April was in 2024, but nothing happened on that day as far as I know, so this could just be a random number. Magazine of the Gun says 803. If you reverse this, it says .308, which is a type of round for guns. Maybe Tarkov style, we will have different ammo types. Also, the gun is UESC branded, so most likely there will be different weapon brands. In Destiny 2, the different weapon brands had their own characteristics and styles. In this building says B6. Since it's behind the runner, I assume this is where they came from. The white rabbit is sitting on these boxes with the STU-12 code. I mentioned earlier these three might be materials. Maybe we can find an extract for these materials to upgrade our clones. Also in the background it might be that same Bay 6 building. I called this runner the white rabbit. This is where the name comes from. Traxxas hired the white rabbit to do runs on Tau City. This clone is most likely the clone we watched being printed since it has the same tracks as lipstick. Under her eye it says SEC P101. This might confirm that this is indeed a P-series clone. Also, she's wearing those hacker goggles. On the chest of the dying runner it says SPCTR, so Spectre could be another class. Here the white rabbit pulls an orange thing out of the UESC runner. Maybe we can loot organs and implants from other runners. There are two other Traxxas affiliated runners, Patch and Brill. I find it interesting that everyone is wearing helmets except for the white rabbit. The UESC doesn't seem confident that these three are using S series clones. This might be a sneak peek at one of the three maps for the game. This area doesn't look much like anything else we've seen in the trailer so far. So I would guess that this is a completely different area, or just a different map. The UESC video says that the zone net is disconnected and power levels are on reserve. Zone network being disconnected might mean this area is free of rampant colony AI, or maybe it has an isolated AI trapped in this area. In Destiny 2, Bungie has done community events. In order to complete the event, the community needs to achieve several goals. Maybe there will be different goals or events to rebuild the colony and bring things online, unlocking more areas. I hope this cyclone means that there will be dynamic weather events and day cycles. What if for a week there was a flood that allows us to swim to places that were previously unreachable? Or maybe a storm rips a hole in the roof of a locked building. An earthquake could uncover a labyrinth of ancient tunnels. The UESC confirms that this is indeed Tau City 4. The oxygen levels on the planet are low and the atmosphere is inhospitable. The atmosphere being inhospitable as opposed to hazardous really makes me think that there is something toxic on the ship. This angle of the marathon in front of Tau City 4 looks like the marathon logo. The UESC says that the orbit of the marathon is sporadic. I don't really know what this means, but I did find this video. So maybe the marathon spins weirdly. And that's it for the breakdown of the trailer. Thanks for watching, and please let me know if I missed anything, or if you need further clarification. 
all feedback is welcome for this video. I haven't made a video like this before, so all feedback is welcome. And I plan to do the vid doc next, so let me know what did and didn't work for this video, so that one is better.